Hi, it's Chester Tuggle at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to write some VBA code to move a workbook from one folder to another folder, effectively archiving the file. I will start off by declaring two variables, one for the source folder and one for the destination folder. Uh, I'll declare them both as strings because they're going to hold the path of file names. So destination folder as string. Then I need to define the paths for each of those variables. So an easy way to get the path is to just go to the property. So one of the files in that folder and to copy it in the location setting. And then I can say uh, source folder equals, and in quotation marks, you can put in the folder and just put your last backslash at the end of the path. And the destination folder is similar. I can paste in that same path and just change the name of the folder which in this case is archive. Remembering that last backslash. Now to move the file, we actually use the name function, which you can use to just rename a workbook. You can also use it to redefine the path for the workbook, which would essentially uh, move it. So to do this, we can use those variables that we've already defined. So we can say S folder, but then you need to concatenate that path with the name of your file. So we can say April 2018.xlsx. And then you say as, and then you state your destination folder, uh, your destination path and name. So we can say D folder ampersand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to rename this file once it's moved. I'm gonna call it archive April 2018. You don't have to rename it, you can keep the same name, but you'd still need to put the name into your code if you're going to do that. Okay, so that's all I need to do. So I use the name function. First of all, you state which file you're going to rename or move, and then you say as, and then the path and the name you're going to give to the file once you've renamed it. And this is effectively, effectively going to move it. So if we look at our two folders over here, what we should see is we should see the file come out of statements and go into archive. So I press play and you can see it's moved out to the statements folder into the archive folder and it's also been renamed. Okay, that's all there is to moving a workbook from one folder to another. Thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.